Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the benefits of using center across selection versus merge and center cells. This is a tip I picked up from Minda Treacy at my online training hub and I'll put a link to her blog below. She's an excellent resource and someone I would strongly recommend subscribing to right after you subscribe to my blog. So let's take a look at this in Excel. So here I have two years worth of data for some stock parts that we have and the sales on those. And heading each block is calendar year 2020, calendar year 2021. And as you can see, if I go to the Home tab, they both use the Merge and Center option in Excel. The issue is if I just want to quickly highlight the column down just to see what my sales were for both years, I could click on cell F4 and as I pull down, as soon as I get to that merge and centered heading in the bottom block, it expands to cover all columns B through F. And then if I go down to the bottom, you can see my total shows it over 2 million, which I know is not the case. It's picking up the values from the dates that are in column C. So how do we avoid this? Well, what we're going to do is first, I'm going to unmerge these cells and take them off being centered. I'll do the same down to this one, select unmerge and not to center it. Then I'm going to select these cells here B through F, and I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut Control-1 to bring up the formatting dialog box. I'll go to Alignment, and under Horizontal, I'm going to pick Center Across Selection and say OK. And the result is that it looks exactly the same as the Merge and Center. However, notice I can click on the individual cells here. And when I do the same down in row 29, select that, control one, and under horizontal, choose center across selection, say okay. Now, when I highlight these cells in column F, notice it allows me to go right through that heading down to the bottom and my total is now 61,246, not the 2,181,000 that it showed before. So this is a simple trick to use instead of merge and center and I think it'll be much more useful in headings that you use on your data. And that's how you do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel bytescom or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling!